Put in the air. Uh, what we're going to do now is one of my favorite games. Uh, learned it about 25 years ago at our men's club. We played it religiously. It was especially good to improve sevens play. Uh, what it basically is is a counter-attack exercise. We call it Montreal. So again, an awesome counter-attack game. What you'll see here is the A's on team one are in attack. The C's on team one are chasers. Same with team two, A's in attack, C's are chasers for that team. How do we start the game? A2 kicks the ball to A1. A1, we usually try to have one, less or one more player at the back. These chasers on team two have to give a 10 meter radius to allow them to catch the ball then they can counterattack. Now, their teammates who are chasers, they can work hard to come back to help in the counterattack. What works really well is if they can get through a gap, these guys again can link, and then they would attack this team here. What we try to do is score tries, but if we don't score tries and they've touched us, we immediately kick the ball back to the other team. So they have to work hard to get back defensively, catch the ball, counterattack. If you catch it in the air, you can counterattack. If you drop the ball, then you immediately kick the ball up to the other team and switch with one of your chasers. So this is where the dynamic play comes in. Tries worth five points. If you kick it into the end zone and it lands, it's worth one point. But what's really cool, if you're playing this in a full field game, if I get touched and I'm within drop goal distance, I can drop goal for three points. If my team scores, I kick back to the other team to restart. We only have 10 players working today, so we'll have three back and two as chasers in a smaller area. Let's see what it looks like in gameplay. This is a smaller area than a full field. We're using yellow line, the yellow line, and the inside dome. Notice we have three at the back. Andrew's going to start by kicking, and he's going to kick to the back three at the far end. These are our two chasers. They'll come up and chase. We try to beat those chasers. These two chasers on the green team can link if they want. Again, depending on their fitness level, how hard they want to work. If a touch occurs, they then kick it immediately. Okay, here we go. Let's see what it looks like. Luke's kick, Luke's kick, hammer it Luke, 
Hammer it! Attack! Turn up, right there. Kick there, Kobe. Kobe's kick. Who are the chasers? Who are the chasers? Kobe's kick. Who are the chasers? That's you, Ken. You and it's you. Get up. Get up. Who's got a ball? Who's got a ball? Touch. Hustle back, back three. Hustle back. Hustle back. Hustle back. And stop. Now, in that part of the exercise, we had to touch a curve. Just like in a game of breakdown, our back three was all involved in the chase up front, and we weren't prepared for the counter kick. They needed to work hard going back. So one of these players is gonna say, Sam, because they weren't in a good defensive position, he has to kick and follow his kick, and one of the chasers, K, will come back. Go ahead, Sam, get the ball and kick. Touch! Hustle back! Hustle back! Go ahead, Maggie! Work! 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 Again, coaches, really fun game, really dynamic, tons of work on skill. You can see that because they possess a good skill set, pass, catch, running lines, quite dynamic. Now, from this, we would then start to communicate on what we want to try to achieve and attack. So, for example, if let's say Luke Bagshaw is catching the ball at the back in the middle, Luke, what can you do to help Baggy? Because what's he concentrating on? Well, Luke, again, you're a young rugby player, new. When he's trying to catch the ball, is he looking at what's in front of him? No. So who's looking at what the defense is doing? Yeah, you on the outside. So what are you going to do early to him as he's catching? Communicate. So what is that going to look like? Right? Baggy, left. Baggy, right. Or, okay, if the ball, Baggy caught the ball in the middle and he was on your team and you saw space out wide on the other side and you were here, what could you do? Away. Yeah, you could work to get away. Now, I've coached Kay for a few years there and he used the term away. So, very simply in our counter attack, we have terminology that we say home or away. So, uh, Carter, what does home mean if we're going to counterattack? Uh, attack the space that they kicked it from. Yeah, attack towards where the ball was kicked from. That would be home. Conversely, away would be attacking away from where the ball was kicked from. Now, we also have other options such as bounce, where we would attack where the ball was kicked from, and then bring it back the other way, or vice versa. Okay, let's see it in action. Well, one thing, when we played this at the men's club forever, you never switched from back to front unless you dropped the ball. As coaches with young athletes, we might go five minutes because some of them, again, very high skill set, may never drop a ball. Then we switch front to back. Okay, so making sure everybody's doing different roles all the time. Good, good job, good. Leave the ball, work, or you kick, sorry, you kick, hustle back, hustle back. Here we go. Who's the chasers? Who's the chasers? Ah! 
So there we have two of our young players, again indecision, no communication. We needed to either move the ball or hit a gap. Attack! Touch! Whose ball? Talk to him, talk to him. Touch, hustle back, back three, hammer it. Oh, not in the spirit of the game. Tap and go. Not in the spirit of the game. We want the ball hoisted up. Let's go, Kay. Tap and go, work, Luke, who's got ball? Who's got ball, Luke? Touch. Put it in the air. This is our first time during this session that we've added Montreal in. What we will start to work on in our winter sessions now are our core skill development with regards to catching the high ball, kicking mechanics, uh, communication on counter attack. So again, for 15's play, what I would be looking for, okay, we get the ball, are we dancing around? What are we doing? We're going. We're going. We're not trying to manipulate like in sevens, right? We talk about when we catch a ball, we must be very decisive because we have a wall on the other team coming up and we want to put them under pressure as soon as we get the ball. Thanks a lot for that. Great exercise. We're going to let them play for the last five minutes for our session. See you later.